Scotland one has fossils of massive marine predator found in the land of Loch Ness Monster. The fossil remains of a marine predator that would give the Loch Ness Monster a run for its money have been found off a Scottish island. In a study published this month, scientists identified the fossil as a previously unknown species. The dolphin-like reptile, which prowled the shallow seas around Scotland 170 million years ago, was as long as 14 feet and featured a long snout full of crocodile-like teeth. It inhabited the warm, shallow seas around Scotland and was likely the top predator at the time, feeding on fish and other reptiles. It would have served a role similar to what sharks and whale play today. During the time of dinosaurs, the waters of Scotland were prowled by big reptiles the size of motorboats, said Steve Brusat of the University of Edinburgh's School of Geosciences, who led the study that appeared in the Scottish Journal of Geology. Their fossils are very rare and only now, for the first time we've found a new species that was uniquely Scottish. The new species, Dirkmhara Shawcrossi, is named in honor of an amateur fossil hunter, Brian Shawcross, who recovered the creature's fossils from the island of Skye's Bay in 1959. And like most fossil hunters that sell their finds, Shawcross donated his to a hunterian at the University of Glasgow where it was rediscovered. Too much has disappeared in the past, Bruzat said. We hope this story resonates where people can see where this totally new type of animal was found not by scientists but by an amateur. This amateur did a great thing. Instead of selling it or putting up on his mantle, he donated it so we have been able to preserve it for perpetuity and study it. A team of paleontologists led by Bruce at Beast together fossil fragments of skulls, teeth, vertebrae and an upper arm bone to determine it was indeed a new species from the early to middle Jurassic period. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.